Hello there, everyone. It is the Tommy Cam Boxing here, and yes, I am finally back making another video after uh, being lazy for almost three months already. I'm finally back to the YouTube and finally recording another new video. So this is the my first video in 2021. So today, we are going to review another Auto Art 1218 course. And yes, recently in these three months, I actually buy like three to like three or two Auto Art 1218 cars, which I will reveal later. I mean, today we are going to reveal one of them. So yeah, let's do this. So that car is very expensive, not gonna lie. And it's very valuable to me too, and I like it very much. And that is the Auto Art 118 Nissan R390 GT1 race car. So yes, this is the car that I buy. I think it is um uh the end of uh, 2020, 2020. It's like uh for the F. Uh, for the first of uh, December, I bought this car. Yes, the last day of 2020, I bought this. The Nissan R319 GT1 road car. Wait, no, it's not a road car. That's a race car. Yes, the GT1. Although I like the road car more, but I don't have. I cannot find any road car 118 on sale, so I buy this one instead. And this is actually very gorgeous too, from in my opinion. So this is yeah yet again R319 race car. So I buy this for 2560 Hong Kong dollars so quite expensive but for me it is my last car buy buy from 2020 it is also my pre uh, per uh, Christmas present for myself so yeah and I like this car very much so I think it's worth it and it's worth it every penny that I paid so First of all, let's take a look at the detail of the car. So let's take a look at the front. Actually, if you just want to take a look at the front of the car, you can just de detach the whole front assembly, the whole front compartment of the car. So yes, this car is like, um, what's that called again? Detachable hood and and the uh, boot and yeah, the tow the tow hook is lit, uh, the, the glue is not on there, so you're just gonna put like that. Yes. <laughs> So let's take a look at the front of the car here. So we see there's two fault light, two headlight, uh, and you get a light. Um, the sun logo, which is not center for some reason, and the grill right here, which is tr which is like they are. How can I say? It's not nothing is blocking them. Yeah, we're, 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 yeah, it's going to the uh, radiator right here. So take a look in the front of the car. This is the famous livery of Kelson on this car. Which, yeah, I think it won the race, I think? I don't know. I think it won the race in 1998 in Lamar. Uh, I have no idea. So these are some decals. Bridgestone, uh, what the hell is that? T uh, TWR Racing, something like that. Same as this side. Number 42, Mexico. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and Japan logo, Kelsonic. San... Ah, oh, fuck, I don't know. Sanafi, I don't know. The small design, the the emergency button. The hook right here is not like it's, it's not actually a hook. It's just a thing that you can align with here right here. You can align and push it back right here. So this is the hood or the front. Um, I would just say there's a hood, right? So at the back of the hood, nothing really that special. Just all black out, and yeah, this is plastic. Yeah, the, but this is this is metal. Up here is metal, but down here is plastic. So you can, you know, I'm not scared of scraping it when I'm pretty here. So let's take a look at the compartment inside of the hood. So this is the inside, the hook, and I said, I just say it's not stable, but I got grill here. So yeah, some three things I don't know what's that. And a calisonic radiator. Oh, is it a radiator? Yes, it is a radiator. And moving on here, we got two yellow thing. I'm assuming this is the uh, hydraulic system for the uh, suspension. I don't know, maybe. And there are more compartment of the suspension and RS thing here. And this 
things the front part of the suspension actually can move. So I'm just gonna do like this. As you can see, the spring on here actually moves around along when the when the wheels is like put upwards. So I like this very much. The, the suspension actually damn works. Even though you you see here some com compartment which is like. I don't know what to say anymore, but this is very realistic, and this is very, oh my god, I like this very much, and they bit make it realistic, and I like it very much, and yeah, this is actually the front of the car, nothing you can actually see here, except some emergency pool, emergency button right here, so yeah, actually the front compartment of the car, nothing that really accelerated, or nothing really that, uh, I don't know, special, I think. Well, it's just an, it's, it's a race car, what you expect. So, yeah, moving on to the side of the car. So here we can see the um, all the sponsor right here. I'm not gonna say any, everything out out. And here's the exhaust, the back wheels, just literally the same as the front wheel. We got the brake disc, and the caliper is not attached in a damn brake brake disc. What the hell is it? Oh, never mind. It is. It, the the brake disc is too dark. I can even see it right here. It is attached to the brake disc. My fault. <laughs> oh god. So this is the side of the car, and you, as you can see, this the panel cap. Actually, I have to push it right back there, just like that. And here's the ring mirror right there. It got the mirror thing right here. And as you can see here, the Casonic decal, uh, 32, 24 hours Le Mans, something like that. Uh, yeah, 1998, this sound is just the intake of the back of the car, which is going for the engine. And yeah, actually, actually, yeah, this is the indicator light, nothing really else. So, the door, I should use a prior to pry open, so it's like this. Ooh, here you are. And inside, you can see, surprisingly, it got a rod here to support the damn door. So if you can if you, if I move this, the rod retract and it expand like this. Which I don't know if it is, if it's on a real car, but it's very cool for me. And you see here the door panel. We got some details right here, like the wrapping and the silver thing. I don't know what's that. And you can see the roll cage right here. Seats. Oh god, I think I use I need to use a flashlight to flash inside. So this is the not a seat anymore. There's not a seat. There's nothing right here. And some wires, the center console, maybe it's used for something else, and the wires are right here, and some electric things are here. The seat is that way, so I'm, I'm gonna talk about it when I go to that side. And some, and the steering right here, and nothing else. This is a fan right here, the fan. As you can see here, the fans right here. Fans right here. I think it's for ventilation, and yeah. You cannot breathe in the same thing, like, you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's go close back the door and look a bit upward. As you can see here, these are the driver that were driving back then in 1998. And this logo and Nissan, Nissan Mexico on the wing here. And nothing really else. The livery is quite simple, not gonna lie. It's just a, like a checker flag with different colors on it and that's it. But really gorgeous, I, I, I'm sure that. So we're going to the back of the car. This is the back of the car. As you can see, Nissan. The tow hook is right here. Need this mode to, I think it's rain light. I think, and these two are. I don't know what's that. It should be a fake uh, exhaust tip, exhaust pipe, because the exhaust right here. But the roll car, roll function, these two are exhaust pipe. So I think that's what they are using for tail lights. Indicate the light same right here. And Nissan, yeah, the back of the car is just like this. Bridgestone on the back, on the bottom of the wing. And yeah, that's actually it for the back of the car. Very simple, but very, very aggressive and gorgeous, not gonna lie. So moving on to this side of the car, basically the same as the other side. Nothing is really different. So, yeah, everything is the same. The, the thing different is, should be the inside. The interior is different. Let me just pry it over and open it. And there you go. Oh yeah, didn't measure that. This is the fuel cap, which is blocked. Not good. <laughs> So inside, we can see this is actually the same, except this is silver, not red, on the other side. The rod is still right here, the thing is right here, and this is the interior of the driver's side. And you can see this, the steering wheel, of course you can steer it, that's bullshit. And inside, you can see the bucket seat and the seat belt is blue. In the middle, we have a 
red thing inside. So you can see the other thing, and in this, as you can see here, that's a Nissan logo right here next to the stereo, or steering wheel and the scene here, which is a nice touch, and it's detailed, yeah, very nice. And the center console, we got the dashboard, and other thing else detailed in there, which is very, very nice. And we got another fence right here, like right here, and some red things right here. I assume that is the fire extinguisher. Yes, that is the fire extinguisher. And that's it for the interior, I guess. Let me show you how to steer this car. The steering is actually very straightforward. Well, that's, oh shit. That's bullshit because if you just turn, it turns. <laughs> okay, so that's it for the interior of the driver's side of the car, which is very simple. Let's close back the door here. Also, it gave us a antenna right here, which is very, very easy to drop off the car <laughs> because I didn't bother to stake it with stake uh, with blue because that could damage the paint of the car. So I just I just put it here like this, but. As you can see, it's not quite stable at all. If you just move the car, you think moves it. This make this thing moves it too. I don't know why did it make it so fragile. It, it can fall any second. But it's the collector car. I'm just gonna put it here. I'm not gonna move it. I'm not playing with it. So yes, this is actually the overview of the outside, not inside. Uh, I, mean, I mean inside. We have done it too, but not this inside. But before that, we're just gonna talk about the top of the car. Which is right here. The written shield, we can see this under right here, the vertical um, wipers, which is for the speed, because if you're going too fast, if, you, if your wiper is put it like this way, it will literally break. So, yeah, they put it right here. So, this is the GT1 for 24 hours Le Mans, same as here, and, uh, and the sponsor right here, and on the sponsor, and there's a hole right here. I'm wondering what's the hole about. Oh shit, I turn. <laughs> open, I want to open this thing first. <laughs> so this hole, I assume, is a ventilation hole. We can see inside this Nissan logo right here. So I'm just assume that's a ventilation system used in this car. So yes, that's actually the hood. I mean, the top of the car. So moving on to the engine cover here. <laughs> so let's open it like this. Yes, this is the engine compartment of the car, but we will talk about it later. We'll talk about the thing here first, this thing. So as you can see here, this is the window of the thing, the engine cover. Nissan, I don't know what the hell is that, it's Japanese. And fans right here for the engine right here, it should be the intake. And two hog, which actually doesn't use as how it used in real life. And the sun right here is nothing that really exaggerated and special so let's put it aside and let's see this thing that i think is very exaggerated and very special and very gorgeous which is the engine compartment here and let's take a look at here so this is the engine compartment and as you can see it's extraordinary detail on a 118 car for me because i collect about 10 to 15 cars but this this is the most beautiful engine compartment i could ever buy I can, I can like i can ever see or i can ever have one so inside we got the v8 inside this vehicle which is a race car of course it's a v8 modified v8 and there are all two turbos right here as you can see the two turbos right here so it's a twin turbo v8 and the intakes right here the engine cover is right here the thing is right here the suspension and now the intake what is the intake Assume it is, <laughs> and other things like that. This is the transmission. I assume the differential should be down there, and the whole compartment is right here. And they did make the coil, the coil covers, carbonized because yeah, they are carbon in carbon fiber in the real car. And yeah, this is the intake, the exhaust system. So right here, the exhaust will go from here to the to turbo and go around here and go to here and the exhaust it. This the air. So this is the engine compartment, as you can see, again, it's very detailed and very beautiful, I like it very much, and I can't, I, I, just, I just can't, I, I just can't, I, just, I cannot admire this thing more than I can, <laughs> and again, the suspension system, they works. so as you can see here, it's just gonna press it upward, wait, no, I should not, I won't do that, I'll just do this, 
as you can see here, the suspension actually works. Although it's not too much because I don't want to break the thing. And yeah, it actually works and I'm amazed with this design. Also, yeah, this is actually the engine component of this car. I can explain more because I know about engines very much. Although I know something about it, but not that much. So this is the overview of the engine compartment here. So let's put the... Uh, engine cover back here, just like that, very easy, and yeah, actually the car itself here. I'm not gonna put, let see, let you see the uh, uh, the base, I mean, I can, but yeah, just for a second, it's nothing right down there. Oh, I broke it again. <laughs> so down there is like this, Auto R, just let you see, the set is set off, you GT1, that's it, nothing really that special, and I'm gonna, oh, cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it okay there you go and this is actually it the review so i like this very much and i i'm keeping it forever li literally <laughs> i reminded 720 years i actually sell the thing <laughs> but i bought it for this thing so i really don't regret my decision on buying this thing and like you know this thing is gorgeous and i don't have any intention of selling this thing and Yes, this is actually the reveal. I think I make the video too long, but sorry for that. I apologize. I think the later video will be shorter. This is like 16 minute video, but yeah, I apologize for that. Um, why do I apologize? It's a video for myself. So as actually, as you can see, this is the end of the video, and this is a review of this car. I like it very much, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.